so hello everyone this is Ibtinar and today I'm back with another video and I think in this video I, I will share something that will be really helpful for you guys because sometimes uh, it's really helpful to you when you are adding Google Analytics with your Shopify website so in this video I would like to share how you can uh, easily add a Google Analytics with your Shopify website and this is really a uh, this is going to be a really good and helpful video for you so let's go so just <clears throat> uh, go uh, with google and just search google analytics then it will look like that and click here okay then it will uh, go there see here already i am using a uh, google analytics before so i would like to uh now use another one that aren't connected with google analytics okay fine now i am going to start here you just click start measuring then here some step so basically this one is for our business name i'm putting a name and air account data <coughs> so it's not mandatory to mark if you want you can mark here then go next here is <coughs> property name what is property basically uh, you can add four or five website or app in one google analytics app account so if you want like different account in that case you should name uh, like different name so if you have three website you can add one by one by using different property name so at that moment i would like to sh add one website so that's why i am just writing here a name and let's see i am writing here iptinur okay <clears throat> see here here is a uh, reporting time zone so it's uh try to add your own time zone here so as i am from bangladesh i would like to add here bangladesh and here i can add dollar or whatever i want let's add it here for us dollar then click here next so here's some <coughs> option it's not mandatory to like uh, fill up that if you want you can do okay here are some options like Google analytics terms of service just mark that okay and i think before i uh, go through this check mark i would like to um, advise you that just try to read what they are saying in this In this form okay then I, I accept here okay that, then it will go like uh, your dashboard so here are some options and don't need to check all those just click here save fine so here you can see an admin and user option so as you as i'm making this video just for how you can set up google analytics with your shopify account so i'm not going through all of this option i'm i just showing you how you can easily add okay <clears throat> so here is property setting see as we already done that before okay fine so just click here data streams so as our Shopify is uh, like we would like to add this Google Analytics with our Shopify website. So in that case, we are going to choose website. Fine. Here they are saying that uh, your website URL. So view this. Here I am uh, using a free account of Shopify. And if you have like connect your shopify shop already connected with another domain 
then you on that case you just choose here okay copy that remember you should copy like that okay so in that case if you have a website like uh, let me show you that if you have something like that abc.com then in that case you should copy from here okay till you.com or .org something you have then copy and paste here okay so remember don't copy whole url see don't copy with that https colon slash slash don't copy with that okay here is the website name so i am just uh, okay i am just keeping that name with you fine now just click here create a stream okay okay fine so here they are providing you a measurement id so basically the problem is that uh, currently using this id we are not able to connect with our shopify website with google analytics i am showing you that click here preference then it will come with an option uh, like that where it is here let me show you that copy this measurement id put it here and after save see it will show you that analytics snippet does not look valid so because of uh, will analytics updates it will not work like that basically the google analytics what they are saying to us they are saying that you should copy this code and put this code in your website head tag they are saying that website head tag so now we need to figure out where our head tag exists in that case in shopify we need to go through like themes after that we need to go here so i am showing you in using drawn theme if you have another different theme you can also easily do that just click action here you can see an option edit code click here and now we need to copy this whole text just click here copy and let's uh, read this copy the google site tag into head section of your html or if you use a website builder like that kodadi shopify or etc copy the global site tag into your website builders custom html field so i think now you are clear here <clears throat> some file okay so this all are theme file basically here layout so it it layout folder here some file you can see theme liquid so this is our main theme file and here some template here some section snippet asset config and local so we don't need to go with other folder we just go here like theme.liquid but in that file our header file are there so here is our header file that click here and enter and the middle point just try to put that code okay and after that here's comment global site tag global google analytics okay now it's time to click here save so our code are here now in under head tag so what 
Google Analytics says that you need to put this code in header. We already done with that. So now it's time to check. So go back. Here is our website preview icon. Let's click here. Okay. So here is our home page. And if you go other pages, so here here some product page and i think this is not a live website or this is not anyone's website i am just build this website for some um, development purpose let's see uh, is it works or not okay fine now let's click here like reports see it already works and it says that users in last 30 minutes one and now i am showing you and see also it tells that where it's where users are watching my website and i think uh, we are already done with uh, google analytics setup I think this video will help you a lot and thank thanks a lot to everyone and I am sorry if I am not make I am not able making this video with uh, like a good sound quality or something like that because I am a little bit sick so thanks a lot see you in the next video